So we're back inside OMG in the morning. It's Thursday morning. It's now 10 minutes after 8 o'clock. And I've got my special guests inside with me this morning. Some of them nervous. I don't know why. But they'll be all right. They'll be all right. I've got Nicole inside as well. I just come a little bit closer to the microphone. Yeah. Um, Nicole, what's your role at the mission here in SVG, the Taiwan's mission? I am the counselor at the embassy. And then uh, my job is to facilitate our, well, cooperation and relations between mm-hmm. Taiwan and St. Vincent. Okay, how long have you been here? I've been here one year and a half, but then I had I had uh, previous work here in 2005, from 2005 to 2008. Mm-hmm. So 12 years ago, I was here. Okay, and how do you how do you enjoy SVG? Very much, extremely. I love St. Vincent. Okay, okay. Actually, every time I went back home, I miss coming back home here. In St. Home, Vincent. home, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nicole, you would have you would have seen a lot of this happening. You would have seen a number of our students going off. How many of them approximately have gone and studied in Taiwan so far? All together, under our scholarship program, 126, 126. But then in recent years, there are more and more who are not under our scholarship program, but then they managed to manage to get by themselves scholarships from the universities, vari- various universities. So I would say roughly maybe 150 or 60. Well, how did that happen? They didn't go through you? They just applied directly? Yes, obviously there are so many Vincentians now in Taiwan and then uh, good news spread, of course. Yes. And then uh, they managed to tell their friends and family that, oh, my university offer this scholarship, that scholarship, especially some sports scholarship. Sports? So, yeah, sports like basketballs and so on. So nowadays we have, uh, of course, uh, the uh, the main batch of scholarship recipients are under our scholarship, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and ICDF scholarship, but now there are more who applied on their own uh, the scholarship offered by individual universities. Okay, well, I'm going to get back to you in a bit, Nicole. You're going to tell me about the different programs that are offered under which you send persons from St. Vincent. So let's get an introduction, everyone. Good morning. Hi, good morning. morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Okay, so let's introduce yourself. What's your name? Okay, my name is Julian Doyle. I'm from the community of Stubbs. And two years ago, I was fortunate enough to receive a scholarship from the government of Taiwan in collaboration with the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Okay, and what are you studying? I'm studying my master's in global tourism and management. Global tourism and And management. management. Explain that to me some more. Okay, this program, I actually chose this program because after working a um, number of years in the service industry where I worked as an immigration officer mm. and with the construction of the Argonne International Airport, I too anticipate that the tourism sector in St. Vincent and the Grenadines would boost significantly. Mm. So I decided to this way of study. Okay, okay. Yeah. And how are you enjoying Taiwan? Taiwan is very good. I'm enjoying it. Okay, we'll get back to that some more as well. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Okay, names. Morning. Come, come. Give me some names there now. Um, I'm Jamari Prince, and I'm from Enums, mm-hmm. and I'm a second year student in Taiwan currently. So you studying in Taiwan? Yes, home okay. on vacation. W- w- what are you What are you studying in Taiwan? I'm studying applied computing, which applied is applied computing. Yes, which is sort of like a computer science. Uh, is it th- any difference at all? Um, when you dive into the curriculum and the syllabus, it's almost exactly the same okay but for my school it's applied computing because they don't necessarily deal only with computers they deal with business social studies science history a lot of stuff okay all right we're gonna get back to you um good morning hi good morning just yeah yeah yeah. and what's your name i'm rafik prescott rafik prescott where are you from rafik i'm from evisham evisham wait wait, wait, wait. (laughs) come on rafik come on come on (laughs) yeah riley man come on i don't mess for man come on crash uh, give the country man some love the man okay cool okay cool yeah rafik you you now going or you you know i have been there three years you've been there three years when i return i'll be doing finishing my fourth year what are you studying in taiwan i'm studying a mechanical engineer mechanical engineering yes why that for you well, before I left, I actually was working with police garage. Mm-hmm. I'm currently on study leave, so um, so I'm you're a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, good. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm really into vehicles and um, mechanical stuff on a whole. So I just see it as an opportunity so that I can come back and impart knowledge so that I can help my country in whatever best way I can. Okay, Rafi, we're gonna get back to you as well too. All right. Good morning. My name is Janica Williams. I'm from the 
community of Richmond Hill in Kingston. Mm -hmm. I've been in Taiwan for the past two years. Two years? Yes. Okay, what are you doing in Taiwan? What are you studying? I'm currently studying for a degree in environmental biology and fishery science. Oh, yeah, explain that to me. Okay, I... Um, was employed with the fisheries division in the Ministry of Agriculture for approximately four and a half years and I developed a love for my job. I, I was very passionate about what I did and I had the opportunity to get to receive a scholarship from Taiwan and I decided that I wanted to choose this field because I was so passionate about it but I did not have the skills um, to properly um, carry out the job that I was passionate about. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I'm going to take the opportunity and I'm going to apply and hopefully someday accomplish my goals. Okay. Okay. Yes. And and how do you feel? You, you're in Taiwan now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mm -hmm. get, get to everybody. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're in Taiwan. You've been there for the last three, three years. What is it like for you in Taiwan? Uh, Taiwan is a wonderful country. Um, the environment is very student-friendly. Um, I'm so fortunate because where I'm studying currently, my program is in Chinese, right? Mandarin but Chinese. Mandarin Chinese. Okay, so you flew into that. Well, uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, and um, I'm fortunate enough to have wonderful friends and professors who are there to assist because it, it is a challenge, but I am overcoming them every day. And because I'm so passionate about what I'm studying, I'm my, my grades are excellent. I'm, I'm doing so well in ah, school. Nice. So that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. That makes my family happy. And I yes. know the country of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, you know, they, are happy. they will be happy, you know. Oh, because, nice. I mean, I'm putting St. Vincent on the map. We all are when we do well, when we progress in life. Mm -hmm. We all are putting our country out there on the map. So Okay, let me ask the guys now. What is it like to go to a country where you have to study another language? Which first before you start studying what, what is that experience like well um the first time that we got there of course you're not gonna expect things to be easy so it didn't come to us as a piece of cake as it were so each day we would be in our classes or in our study rooms writing these foreign strokes <laughs> wondering what is this that we're writing but you know, after days, hours, minutes of um, writing over and over, we actually got to understand each character, each stroke, exactly what they meant. Okay. So we can apply them okay. in our conversation. Nice. Julie, Julie, what about you? What is it like to, to be so far away from home? What is that experience like? Actually, for me, at first, it was a bit challenging being away from your family, your friends, and everybody. But with the use of technology, there's Skype, there's WhatsApp, there's Facebook. So you always feel in touch even though you're away. And then you get to develop long life friendship with Taiwanese friends. Not even Taiwanese, but also people from different countries. Mm -hmm. And they don't even know about St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And you know, as Vincent, I think this is the opportunity that we have to use to actually promote St. Vincent and the Grenadines to these persons who don't know about our country, our beautiful country. Uh, very nice. What about you? How does it feel to be so far away? Um, initially, my first three months in Taiwan was a bit of a challenge for me because of the new environment, the culture. And I've never been so far away f from home, you know. My, it's actually my first time traveling out of the Caribbean. And then I'm learning a new language. And it was a bit ch difficult because you are forcing yourself to learn something new and to get in these characters that you've never, you never understood. You never... Completely different right, culture. It's, so, com it's it? so completely different. And then I encouraged myself and I said, you know, I'm here for a purpose. I'm here for a reason. And I know one day it's going to be beneficial, not only to me, but, you know, beneficial um, in the future, in the long run, because then I will be able to speak it more, not only more fluently to the locals in Taiwan, but even to those on mainland China. Because when I was in transit to China, I was able to speak to Chinese. You know, they understood yes, my yes. Mandarin very well. Yes. And even when we were on um, the flight, the air hostess, they will speak English to English people, Chinese to Chinese people. But we were able to speak to them in Chinese so they didn't have to transition. Okay. Okay. And that really helped boost my self-confidence. I was, I, I, I understand why I know, why I was really there. And I, I'm so happy for the opportunity to, to study Mandarin Chinese. And I have not regretted it. 
Okay. Yes. Taiwan is a relatively small island, relatively compared to China and, and those places. Are you guys close to each other? Are your universities are close, or is it far apart? Actually, most Vincentians, I would say, live in the south of Taiwan, but the universities are not. That far from each other because of the transport system. Yes, it's very efficient. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go and see a friend, you can get a bus, you can get a taxi, you can get a train any time of the day, well, all night, all night, and it's very easy to move around, see each other. Mm -hmm. um, in our first year, we actually had like a small Christmas party. Because, as you know, Taiwan doesn't celebrate Christmas, mm -hmm. so we didn't want to leave our Vincentian tradition behind. Mm -hmm. We met together, we cooked some rice, some peas, some chicken, <laughs> and stuff like that, <laughs> and we had a good time with each other. So, seeing each other is no problem in Taiwan okay. as well. Yeah. All right, what about other other persons who are from the Caribbean? You guys have any other students who are in, from the Caribbean in your universities? Yeah, uh, like for example, in my university, there's persons like from Belize, uh, Saint Kitts, okay, uh, Saint Lucia, and a few others. Okay, what, what, what's the size of your student population approximately? It's about twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Yeah, because my school is split into two. There's one in the capital Taipei, and there's one in Taoyuan. Which is where I am at. Mm -hmm. So the total for both schools is about twenty thousand. Okay. What about you? And um, for me, it's about fourteen thousand. One four. One four. Okay, Julie. Approximately. I think approximately my university is just over twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Yeah. And you? Approximately fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Yes. Okay. And you all live on campus. I, I don't live on campus actually I live outside of school I rent an apartment So I live on my own And take care of myself Okay How about you Jolene? I'm living on campus You're living on campus guys? Yeah I'm also living on campus Planning on getting my own apartment soon <laughs> Okay okay Yeah I've, I've been living on campus And I'm still I still am You still are Okay alright Tell you what We're going to ask you so much more About your experience The culture of Taiwan The food Oh large The night market You know I want to talk to you guys About all these stuff And so much more um, This is OMG in the morning we got some students who are studying in Taiwan. We've got Jamal in here with a camera. Jamal, you're talking. I don't feel it. There's in here recording. Now. And um, we've got Nicole in, in here as well. So we're going to chat with them this morning. OMG in the morning. Your Thursday morning edition. Let's take this commercial break and come right back at OMG in the morning. Only on Boo. OMG in the morning. Morning, morning, morning. All right, welcome back inside OMG in the morning, Thursday morning edition. I've also got Jamali Jack inside. Jamali, you, you also studied in Taiwan. What what year did you go to Taiwan? I went to Taiwan actually in the third batch of Vincentians to go to Taiwan. That was in 2006. And I was there for six years until 2012. Well, what exact, What did you study? My Originally when I went there, I did one year of advertising because leaving from St. Vincent, that's what my interest was. But then after a year of that, I decided I want to broaden it a bit. So I did journalism and mass communications. Okay, and 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 your experience in Taiwan, Jamali, um, because it's far. Yeah, it's far. Um, you're away from your family. Um, you were the second second batch. You're in the second third batch. The third batch to, yeah. to have gone to Taiwan. What was what was your expectation when when you when you got that call? You said, "Well, I've got you got the scholarship. You've been approved, and all of that." But you know, luckily for me, I was pretty open in terms of what to expect. I had people in my family who spent a little time in Taiwan and my oh, fiance okay. at the okay, time, well yes. not fiance at the time, my girlfriend Your at girlfriend. the time, no, my wife, she was in Taiwan. So in terms of what to expect, I had a pretty good handle, but the truth is no matter what you expect, and that's what we usually tell students, no matter what we tell you before you go, when you get there, it is a completely different experience. I remember the Sunday morning when I got in and I was driving into Taipei from the airport and I'm seeing these signs and the first thing that hit me is that I can't believe I'm actually in Taiwan. Mm. But then the second thing is that I'm looking down the street and I could not make head from tail what was going on. Everything just looked completely confusing to me. But after a while, after a few weeks, then you were able to identify different characters and then it started to make sense after okay. a while. Well, why would you encourage students who trying to decide that they want to do 
advanced studies yeah to go to taiwan as opposed to going elsewhere and that's a great question because there are scholarships available to many places in the world and and not to take away from them but you know janika touched on it a bit because mandarin of all the languages in the world it is the most used language mm-hmm. mandarin chinese even more than english actually how so and uh, wh- why why well they are just for china alone they're 1.3 billion right. people in china and even though they speak different types of chinese once you have a handle on mandarin you could communicate with a number of people mm-hmm. Apart from that, I think especially when you look from a business perspective that the Chinese market is a continually growing one in terms of manufacturing, tourism, other types of business. So if you know how to speak Chinese, then you can really communicate with people on on a very intimate basis. I said to someone pretty recently that if you speak to someone in your language, you speak to their head because like the air hostess the air flight attendants they have to translate it in their head but if you speak to them in their language you speak directly to their heart so i think another benefit that taiwan offers is that it's so common for us to have a western experience and i don't want to start naming countries that we can study but but when, when you go to asia it opens up a whole different philosophy a way of thinking a way of life that i think if we infuse that into our western type thinking then it is a well-rounded individual so in taiwan and again it was mentioned earlier not only do you have the opportunity to communicate and interact with taiwanese asians but you have people from africa south america europe north america my class my university we would joke and say it's almost like the united nations and having left taiwan i have friends and counterparts from literally almost every nation under the sun wow Taiwan, does it give you, when you were there, Jamali, and, and I will ask the, student, the students who are presently there, did, was there anything that made you felt at any time that you're part of St. Vincent, you felt as if you were home? I, I know from my experience, I saw bananas, <laughs> uh, plantations of bananas, you know, and I, and I saw, I could relate to, to, to some know, of what of I, th- I saw when I went to certain places. One of the things you said earlier is that Taiwan is small, and that's true because when you compare taiwan to mainland china taiwan is very tiny but the truth is taiwan is 95.4 i think about times bigger than st vincent and the grenadines Mm -hmm. and when i was there there were times when i forgot i was on an island especially when you're in the north in the cities Mm -hmm. but when you get down to the south and then you saw beaches now i I work for the (laughs) st vincent and the grenadines tourism authority i love taiwan but nowhere in the world can compare to our beaches however when you see a white sand beach and the blue waters in the south, you get a sense of, okay, you know what, we could identify on that level. And Taiwan is also very mountainous in the interior. They have a huge mountain, a huge mountain range going down the center of the island. The banana trees and so on, those are the little moments when you feel as though, okay, we, we share these similarities. But I think the thing that makes me, that made me feel most at home was the interaction with the other Vincentians okay. there. And the truth is that Taiwanese people are extremely, extremely hospitable. Very. They will take you into their house. They, they will just go all out for you. So all of these things put together help the student experience be a more relaxing one. And I can't even end this without saying that in the Vincentian community, there is someone who I just have to mention. Her name is Peggy Carr. Uh-huh. And she is like the mother, the grandmother, the, the matron, the everything for the Vincentian community in Taiwan. And she goes above and beyond the call of duty to ensure that all the arrangements everything that is a very smooth transition for us yes. let, let me just put things into perspective with jamali jamali would have walked in this building before um in island concepts right. all right so jamali uh, he knows this place all right and you you you're technology driven person jamali taiwan is very advanced in technology yes. were you shocked at 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 where they are when being you in taiwan is like being as you say a kid in a candy store most people listening to this program may be using a mobile phone, a laptop, or whatever. Taiwan iPhones. Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, that is the largest semiconductor manufacturing company in the world. As a matter of fact, Honhai, which is a division of Foxconn, is the largest electronics manufacturing company in the world. They make, they manufacture for Apple, Dell, HP, Toshiba, just about everyone. 
that is a Taiwanese company. Mm-hmm. Yes, their biggest facility, which has I think about I think about maybe five hundred thousand employees, almost half a million, is in China, but it is a Taiwanese company. So Taiwan is on the forefront of technology. As a matter of fact, there are students who have studied or now studying in Taiwan who are on doing research projects for some major companies in defense, manufacturing, and other fields. Okay, Nicole, let, let me let me if you don't mind, Nicole, let me just speak with you a bit. Um, um, Nicole, who works at the mission, at uh, the em- embassy, the Taiwan's embassy in SVG. I've heard this while I was in Taiwan late last year, mm-hmm. in one of my sessions, that the government of, of Taiwan will be opening it up so that students who are studying in Taiwan can now walk in Taiwan. Yes, exactly. T- Start- tell, tell us a bit more about this. Starting from this year, because accumulating experiences and especially uh, the actual practical experiences is also important. That is why we like the students in Taiwan. Well, of course, it's wonderful that if you uh, get to travel a bit during your summer break or your winter break, but then if you could get the opportunity to work and and uh, accumulate as much as possible the on hand uh, experience, that will that will be very helpful to your academic study. And afterwards, when you come back to St. Vincent, that will be uh, uh, very useful because you are not only uh, having knowledge from uh, the books and so on, but also what is it, what it is actually like uh, to work in a uh, company in Taiwan. And from that uh, experience, we hope that student, Vincentian students could also uh, know more people in Taiwan, maybe in the future, that uh, when they come back home here in St. Vincent, they, they could say, oh, I know that particular business people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe uh, we, we can uh, sell something from St. Vincent to uh, that Taiwanese uh, business or vice versa and so on. So links can be uh, and net- networks can be uh, established out of that work experience okay. so we are very happy that uh, we start this uh, initiative and then hopefully Vincentian students in Taiwan could uh, grab the opportunity okay. and work. For, for parents who are listening and for students who may be listening and saying wow this sounds very interesting yeah. I'm hearing these exper- these students experiences mm-hmm. um, what is the process like to get a scholarship to, to study in Taiwan well actually it's not really complicated as long as uh, you are a graduate from secondary school uh, you can come and apply but of course it is very competitive every year Uh, students have to have a very good uh, academic performance and then of course uh, the evaluation and recommendation from their uh, teachers and and former uh, uh, colleagues of work whatever so uh, they have to prepare also a very let's say uh, ambitious study plan Mm -hmm. to because it's as I said it's competitive so they have to show uh, to uh, the people in Taipei that they're uh, and the university that they know what they want to do and then they are ambitious they know what they want to become and so on and then uh, and then apply what what does your scholarship cover well the two types of scholarship they offer are slightly different but then uh, basically uh, the uh, stipend every month is uh, sufficient very sufficient. so you, you provide yes. a stipend yes and then uh, students can uh, using the stipend to uh, to be uh, to cover their accommodation. Mm-hmm. For example, whether they live in on campus or uh, they rent an apartment outside, mm-hmm. and then they use the stipend to uh, pay for the tuition fee, to buy books, and then uh, food and everything. It's uh, very sufficient. And, and the cost of, of getting there as well is the air tickets, round trip air tickets from Taiwan to uh, I'm sorry, the other way around yeah, from, from St. Vincent to, to Taiwan, yes. and then the uh, return ticket from Taiwan back to. St. Vincent. As far as I was told, some of the students, because the stipend is sufficient in the way that they manage to uh, save a bit of money and then come back during their summer break or winter break home for holiday. Okay. So I guess that's uh, that's um, the way how it goes. Okay. Walk me yeah. through, Nicole, the, the, the various steps in applying for a scholarship. You apply where? Okay, you have to make up your mind, of course, firstly, what I am interested in. Like, for example, I would be interested in uh, hospitality, hotel management, agriculture, information uh, technology, whatever. And then uh, you could search on the website that, uh, okay, these are the universities and then these are the courses that they offer. And then whether I would be uh, interested in it and then I go uh, into details to see what 
they have、uh, to offer. And then the steps will be first apply to the university and see if you get an admittance to their university either for degree program or some people, most people nowadays, they、uh, apply for a Mandarin course for the first year. So、mm-hmm. admittance from university, that's first steps. Fill up the forms that will be provided on our website.、Uh, some are online and then some you can download the forms. And、oh, what, then, what's the website address?、Uh, www.taiwanembassy.org. Okay. And then, uh, and then, You, well, Google Taiwan Scholarship, okay. Okay.、Uh, then you would find the、uh, relevant. Okay. The, the、uh, traditional、website. areas of study, law, medicine,、uh, are those covered as well in Taiwan? Medicine, yes, but then that's、uh, opposed to、uh, bachelor's、uh, medicine. So that means you, you have to have a bachelor's degree right. already right.、Uh, so that you can study medicine in Taiwan. Law, of course, you could、uh, study a bachelor's、uh, and LLB in Taiwan. That's of course、uh, possible,、mm. uh, as well as other、um, disciplines. What are the popular、um, fields that, that you get the most requests for? Agriculture, information technology, mass communication, mass communication, and then、uh, mechanical engineering. That is also an area,、mm-hmm. and、uh, um, environmental study, and so on.、Mm. Right. Well, while I was there, I, I I learned of a program to get English teachers、mm-hmm. to come and work in Taiwan. Tell tell me a bit more about all this program. Yes, that is something. Well, you see, Taiwan and Saint Vincent and the Grenadines, we have、uh, diplomatic relations for. Over 36 years, and then、uh, the people-to-people interaction is more now more frequent. But then we have Vincentian students in Taiwan, but we've never had、uh, Vincentian teachers in Taiwan. Starting from last year, we have、uh, a lady.、Uh, she teaches. She's a qualified teacher,、mm-hmm. and then、uh, we ask whether, well, Saint Vincent government, will you be able to uh, maybe uh, recommend some teachers to Taiwan to teach? English, because obviously English is a foreign language to us. Yes. So, and then our foreign ministry facilitated. That is why we have now one Vincentian English teacher in Taiwan teaching uh, uh, at our secondary school. Are there possibilities to have more? Of course, definitely. We welcome more、uh, qualified teachers to teach in Taiwan.、Uh, well, apply to your foreign ministry、uh, because、uh, this is all year round、uh, uh, vacant. There is always all year round. Vacancy in Taiwan. So, well, grab the opportunity and speak、mm-hmm. to your foreign ministry, and then they will yes.、Uh-huh. Um, you're investing in our people continuously, and、um, I mean, students. These these young people get the opportunity to go abroad. To to get a proper education and learn a different culture, and the experiences are amazing. You know, persons who are not in school who get to go and experience this culture.、Um, d- do we have、uh, a reverse situation where Taiwanese come to Saint Vincent and experience our culture and, and work or, or study here? Well, actually, some of my colleagues, previous colleagues, children study in Saint Vincent. Of course,、uh, those were the only situation that we had,、mm-hmm. but. Then maybe in the future we would have more. I think it is very important uh, that uh, we offer opportunities to each other.、Right. Like, of course,、uh, Saint Vincent students going to Taiwan that is、mm, uh, right now much more okay, popular. Okay, okay, okay.、Yeah. Well, and why would you encourage a, a student, a young person who's just coming out of A levels、mm-hmm. and thinking about、um, where should I go to study? Why would you encourage them to, to consider a look at Taiwan? Uh, well, uh, well, it depends on what they like.、Mm-hmm. As I said, we have、uh, more than a hundred universities in Taiwan, and then each university they offer different uh, disciplines uh, uh, and departments. They offer different courses. So、uh, depends on what you like. But then, mostly, I would I would like to recommend to the、uh, students who are considering going to Taiwan. Think firstly, what is your favorite subject? What what is your desired subject? And then secondly. What is, what does Saint Vincent need?、Mm-hmm. What does your country need? Of course, it's nice that I you say that. Oh, I'd like to study、uh, astronomy or 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 something like that. But then let's let's work together to make Saint Vincent a better country. So think about what your country needs, and then you would definitely be able to find、uh, the desired subject that you like, and then matching the need of your country. Study hard. Go to Taiwan, study hard, and then come back and contribute to your country. That is what we are looking for. It's not 
like we are asking you in return to, of course, we would welcome uh, you to stay in Taiwan. Yes, but yeah. then what we would like is to see that you come back and then and and then make St. Vincent a better country. Okay, yeah. nice. Students, l- ladies, l- let me ask you about your cultural experience in, in Taiwan. Oh, guys, as well, too. Um, tell me about your cultural experience. What, what have you participated in besides in school? I mean, what do you guys do while you're there? You live in a foreign country on the other side of the world, a completely different culture. What, what do you guys do? Well, so you do not have any assignments. My school on and also other universities usually offer, there's a program called the Host Family Program, which is a very good initiative, I think, by the government okay. of, the government of yes. Taiwan for international students. And with this program, you're able to meet Taiwanese family. They will open up their houses for you mm-hmm. and you will go there, spend the day and be, get a hands-on experience about the culture and also the food. And it's very good. I've went to this program on two occasions and I really, really enjoy it. Okay. And what I really appreciate too about this is that Taiwanese has a passion for the Chinese culture. Mm. And the way they actually promote this culture is very good if we as Vincentians can actually see how we could align this promotion to St. Vincent and the Grenadines to mm-hmm. actually pro- promote it in terms of our Garifuna culture, mm-hmm. our Indian culture, because these are really close to our Vincentian identity and they have their own history, their own landmark and what once we are able to copy from what they're doing, it will be very good for the industry in St. Vincent and the okay. Grenadines. Okay, wonder guys, what, what do you do? Okay, so on weekends, I actually play football with my school I'm on the school team so on weekends we have um, tournaments matches and stuff like that mm-hmm. um, if I'm not doing that I'll be with my classmates pe- um, family he's actually Taiwanese okay. he usually welcomes me to his home on weekends so I would go there interact with his grandmother his father his mother his little right. brother and stuff like that right. so I actually teach them a bit of um, Vincentian culture. Usually, teach them some dialect. Okay. So, <laughs> if they were here right now, they would be able to converse with you a little yes, bit yes, yes. in our um, our Creole. Um, other things that we do on weekends, we go to different restaurants. We go to night markets. Night markets. I'm sure you're familiar with oh, that. Oh yes, I am. Yeah. Um, there are so much things to do in in Taiwan. You can go to the 101. Which is one of the tallest Type buildings in the world. Yes, one of the tallest buildings in the world. There are zoos, there are parks, mountain ranges that you can hike. There's so many things that you can do in Taiwan. Okay, what about you? Um, what, what do you do? Uh, on my weekend, uh, for example, the Saturday, I normally go to church. I try to go to church. Oh, as much okay. As I can. Um, when I back, I generally rest on a Saturday. Hold on, hold on. Tell, tell me about church. Because what, what what religion? Okay, I'm a Seventh Day Adventist. You're Seventh Day Adventist, yeah. and you, I mean, you 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 were able to link up with the Seventh Day Adventist yeah. church. Yeah. Okay. And how was that? How was that? Like, well, actually, there there the, the building there's a two story building. So downstairs you have the church that you've been the the preaching Chinese, and upstairs we have our English session. That's also where I meet like other persons. In the um, Asian region mm-hmm. and um, also from the Caribbean. Okay. Because I even got a few of my friends. I invited them and they all enjoyed it. Okay. Okay. Nice. What else do you do on the weekends? Uh, after church, I generally rest on a Saturday. Even when I'm home, that's what okay. I do on a Saturday. Okay. And on my Sunday, I more or less prepare for the for the Monday to come. Okay. I do whatever chores I have to do in terms of prepare my clothes, my laundry. Um, make sure that I have If I have to go And make a little shopping I do my little shopping And if I have Well sports I'm into sports Because Well in my first year I played for the school But my second My second year Was very hectic Where studies are concerned So I Set aside sports For that year um, I also did that For my third year I think this year I go back I'm gonna <laughs> go back To the soccer <laughs> Okay okay <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what about you? What do you, what do you do? Uh, on my weekends, um, sometimes Taiwanese friends as well, we go to the night markets and we tend to sample various foods. And now I I can tell you from my experience, I've seen things, um, food, like I've seen like frogs and, and these sort of, <laughs> and I'm telling you, when you, 
you put your mind to it. I mean, these are things I say no to, absolutely, you know, and t- tend to look for things that are more familiar. But I remember one time my in my first year, uh, my Taiwanese friend, she, she took me to a little night market in Shida, and we actually ate fried stinky tofu with kimchi. <laughs> And What's kimchi? Kimchi is a Korean um, dish mm-hmm. that they, they normally use. It's sort of marinated, tangy, like a mm-hmm. little bit. It's tasty. It's, it's really tasty. Mm-hmm. And the smell of it, of course, it will turn you, turn off. you off. But when I actually ate it, it was really good. It wasn't that bad at all. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was my first time ever experiencing it. And she bought it for me. She, she bought a whole package because... She bought hers first and I tasted it. And then she bought a whole package for me. I took it home. I went I actually went to the park, sat a while and ate more of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was my okay. yeah, so the, the experiences there are wonderful. Um I, I really enjoy going to the night market. I also love drinking bubble milk tea. I absolutely I'm, I'm sort of addicted to it, really. Mm. I, I, I am just... Mm. Every day I get my hands on them, I, okay. I will drink it. So You, you guys yeah. all sound very passionate about oh, Taiwan. Yes. Oh, yeah. um, will any one of you consider going back to Taiwan after you've completed your studies and relocating, starting a family day? Anybody at all will, will consider that at any no, point? Of course. Um, there's actually Vincentians that went to Taiwan, studied there, completed their studies and are still there mm-hmm. there's a young guy um, he he has a family there he recently came home Calvert he's from Mespo I'm not sure if mm-hmm. you know him he's I think doing his masters now or finished his masters he actually got married in Taiwan mm. came home to St. Vincent got married here again and then went back to St. Vincent. So, to Taiwan. The, the, right. the same person, right? Yeah. I hope it's the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he brought his... That was an OMG moment there. <laughs> <laughs> he brought his Taiwanese wife yes. back to St. Vincent so that he can be married here also. Okay. Right. Okay. So, okay. there's no question that you are able to live in Taiwan to cope with the the culture and everything like that so yes. i think it's up to each person whatever they decide to do it's up to them jolene why why you run off into the corner <laughs> you have something to tell me jolene come on come on jolene tell me something huh <laughs> <laughs> so you, you all will consider um going back to taiwan uh, will you will you really consider if you've got younger siblings is this something that you'll want for them to do Given that you, you, you experience the high and the low, being alone in Taiwan, being far away from your family and your friends, is it something you, you will you will consider for your siblings to do? Of course. When you get to Taiwan, yes, you're a foreigner, you're an outsider. But after a while, you start to feel like you're a part of the Taiwanese culture. Yes. <laughs> like, when you first get there, you're like, wow, everyone looks the same. Um who do I know from who do I who I don't know but after a while you, when you see a foreigner like oh that's a foreigner you're like into the Taiwanese culture so much that yeah. you yourself become Taiwanese yes so it's like when you see another dark skin person you're surprised yeah. like wow I didn't know these people were here and you yourself are the same as them yes. okay yeah. and when when you when you go back when next do you come back home uh, I'll return home next year and that would be the end of That would be the end of you. Okay. All right, cool. What about you? For me, I'm not too sure if I'll be coming back until I finish my degree, which should be about three years from now. Three years from now. Yeah. Um, Jolene, what about you? When, when do you return home? When I actually have one more year. One more year. Yes, yeah, I I'll forgot. Be back home and you'll be back home. Year. All right. Um, and one thing being, I really want to thank the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, especially our Prime Minister, Dr. Ralph Gonsalves, for this education revolution initiative. Because as coming from a poor background, I really see this as something very good because never before had I dreamed that I would have been in Taiwan and it's because of this initiative with collaboration with the government and people of Taiwan that we Vincentians are able to go out and earn a university degree so I'm very very thankful Mm. to the government. Do you have any other members of your family who've got a degree who went to university? No actually I'm the first member of my family to actually 
gain a first degree and actually I'm on my master's now. So that is, I'm very, very, very thankful. Mm. And you're in Taiwan. Thankful. I'm in Taiwan. <laughs> yeah. what, about, so I'm what, very what about you? Do you have any other members in your family who have oh, no, been to university? No, um, I am actually the first member of my family who, who, who is currently pursuing a degree currently. So I'm also so thankful for the opportunity given to me from the government of Taiwan and the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I am so grateful and as I have said before, I, I am making the best use of my opportunities as they come. Okay. Yes. Guys, what about you? I'm the first and I'm also the last. When I say the last, I'm the last child. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, for me, my sister went to university as already. She went to UWE okay. in Barbados and Trinidad. And this is a completely different experience, UWE totally different. to Taiwan. Mm, totally yes. different, yeah. Okay, guys, I want to thank you very much. You've got an amazing opportunity that a number of folks wish they've had, all right, and make the best use of this. Okay, guys? Okay. Jamali, uh, um, let me let me wrap up w- with you again as well, too. Um, will you at some point ever consider going back to Taiwan, Jamali? Well, I would love to. You know, just this morning, I was leaving home and I have a cup, a mug, that it says Taiwan will touch your heart and leave your heart in Taiwan. And I think I speak for everyone of us as Vincentians when I say, when you spend any amount of time in Taiwan, I guess you could yeah. relate to this, you leave feeling as though you left somewhere that you always knew and you will always like to return. Right. So for me, the opportunity of going back to Taiwan would be a very welcome opportunity. Just about every time I meet anyone, especially a young person, I tell them, did you study anywhere before? Would you consider studying in Taiwan? Mm -hmm. Because everywhere I go, I really want to be an ambassador for these scholarships because it is an amazing experience. It is one that it opens your world. I always like to say, Taiwan will make you become the better version of yourself because it opens your mind to a lot of different things by being in a culture so different than yours, but interacting with people from all over the world. You see things in a a completely new light. Just this morning, I was saying to Nicole that you ask about culture shock and the truth is the culture shock is not really going to Taiwan even though it's different the real culture shock is after spending a number of years in Taiwan and returning to St. Vincent and the Grenadines that is the real culture okay. shock yes very much thank you very much Amali Ni- Nicole well, I want to thank you very very much thank um, you, for exposing um, this opportunity yeah. to our listeners I'm getting a lot of feedback on our WhatsApp machine posters a quest, uh, some questions on my phone as well you know about opportunities possibilities I want to thank you very much I want to thank the, the ambassador okay. and the government and people of Taiwan as well please convey our thanks on behalf of St. Vincent and the Grenadines so, for affording our young people the opportunity Opportunity to, to get an education at a different level, with a, from a different culture, different experience. Thank you, Bing. I think it uh, sounds like most people at this studio here are wishing to go to Taiwan. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, on the other hand, I seem to be the only one. It seems to be I am the only one who wants to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was students who are presently studying in Taiwan. And you heard their experiences, what, what they go through, what's it like. We, we spoke to Nicole as well. A uh, member of the embassy uh, from People of Republic of, of China and Taiwan. Uh, how do you take advantage of this opportunity? She told you about what if you can't get online, find them online, just give them a call at the office, right, Nicole? Yeah, the number to call? Someone uh, asked what's the, the number? Our number is 456 2431. 456 2431, that's our uh, office number. And you could inquire now about next year? Yes, yes. About the of course. batch of scholarship from right. next year. So that will be general information for you, but then for specific details, you uh, well, we would usually start our promotion January, February next year. Okay. And, and outside of scholarships, you offer other opportunities to go to Taiwan, like the one that I've, I've been well, on. Workshops from time to time. So uh, you most welcome, everybody, please do come and stop inquire. by and have, yeah. Yeah, have a cup of tea, Taiwanese high mountain tea at uh, our office, yes. and then inquire whatever you wish to know about Taiwan. Thank you very much, Nicole. It's gone past 9 o'clock. Let's do this and come right back right here on OMG in the morning. Um, thank you very much once again to, to the folks. Who, who are going back and and best of luck guys okay best of luck with much much success to you guys boom svg blazing all songs